Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, saints. Welcome to the one session of prayer. You are only with Prophet Adams and Prophet Smith. After y'all coming in, being a part of the table, the table is spread, and the feast of the Lord is continually going on. Amen. We ask that you guys just come, come take, eat from the table. Consult with God and, and consult with him this morning. Kneel down with him and pray to him and just let him know that he's everything that we need. Amen. Without God, we're, we're nothing. Amen. We thank God. We thank God this morning. We thank God this morning for everyone, uh, part of the family. We ask that you guys just come on in to the table. Come on in. Amen. Today is November 9th, 2021. Amen. Sorry for our tardiness this morning, but hey, we're here. And the Lord, and the Lord um, he allowed us to come before the people this morning. So, so we're going to take this uh, every opportunity that we have to just give it to God. Give God glory and honor. Amen. Amen. How are you doing this morning, Prophet? Doing well, doing well. Thank you so much. Can't complain about anything. I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful to be here. Amen. And we thank God for, we thank God for being a God of love, peace, joy, and happiness. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Mother Norman. Mother Norman, how are we going? Amen. We thank God. We thank God for um, his peace, his everlasting peace. How he allowed us to sleep last night and get rest. Thank you, Jesus. Good rest. Good rest and come back this morning and being able to start it all over again. And, you know, the first thing we do is we give him the first fruits of worship, the first fruits of praise. Amen. 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 Without Good morning, God, Mother. Without God, I got to say again, we're nothing. We are nothing. Absolutely nothing. 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 Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. We're grateful. Good morning, Mother. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank God. I was, I um had the pleasure, the Lord. I was on a I was on an assignment on yesterday. I was on an assignment from and 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 and, and I love my little my missions, my assignments. I you know I you know, I, I I've come to understand it a little better by and by. But it was it was a great union with some newfound loved ones that the Lord has graced me and connected me with. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for them. I am grateful. I'm asking God to cover and protect them, give them safe travel mercies this morning. I'm going to send a shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Francis of San Diego, California. They, they, it was a blessing. To, uh, we, we didn't depart to about 12 o'clock, 12, 12 30 this morning. I said, Lord. Amen. It was nothing but a Holy Ghost good time. It really was. God is moving, people. God is moving. Amen. We thank God. We thank God that you made it that safely. Amen. Amen. The Lord wasn't going to have it no other way. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Norman. Good morning, Mother, uh, Mother Norman. Sister Small, Sister Johnson, I see y'all. Prophet Smith, Sister Bowler, Sister Sister Bowler, Sister Brandon, Miss Davidson. We just calling them out, calling them out. Good morning, everybody. Sister Evanette Gray, y'all come on in. All the neighbors, inspiration, the inspiration room. Come on, show up in numbers today. Amen. Amen. I did that. Oh goodness, you guys have any prayer requests? Add, add it. Add your prayer requests up there. Put it in the comment section. Add your prayer requests. Add your prayer requests. Add your prayer requests. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. This was such a um, 
Um, it seems like it seems like the days and the nights are going so fast. Even that much more fast than not a time that flew set up and fell back. Mm-hmm. It get dark fast. My body so my body always shift with this season. Boy, I tell you, it's like I be I, I can't keep my eyes open past a certain time. I be like I'm done. I'm out. <coughs> I don't know if anybody else's body is is on this on this uh, on this autopilot like mine's always been on this system when the time fall back it's like my system automatically fall right back with it like okay i'm in bed by i'm just gonna say for example like seven o'clock my body just so starts shutting down i'm like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I, like i can't keep my eyes open like like it's a clock like something just making me shut down thank god yeah, man. But I, I love that because I always got good rest during that time too, during this season. I would get good rest. Yeah, my schedule was always different, you know, during this season. My schedule, my schedule was always different. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we thank God. We thank God for every, every, everyone on the line this morning. Share the broadcast. I like the broadcast and. And you know, and this um, please make sure you like the broadcast and share it. Amen. Um it's, it's we're gonna go ahead and um pray. Hallelujah. If you guys have any testimonies, um it's testimony Tuesday, so go ahead and throw and bring it, call in for your testimonies. Come on, let's let's um let's get our testimonies in. Uh call in and get your testimony. If you want to call in, feel free to use the messenger. Go ahead and get your call in. Just get it started. Uh, we'll go ahead. If we're in the middle of prayer, give us a second. We're going to pray. And, and, you know, and we'll just continue to resume. Um, Amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, God, we come to you right now, Father. We ask right now that you would uh, t- just uh, take care of everything that we have to go through today, Lord Father. We, first of all, we ask that you would just uh, forgive us for all sins and on and on and on. The sins of the commission and the omission, Lord Father. Right now, Lord God, we ask that you just continue to just be who you are, God, and that's our Savior. That's the blessing. The blessed sir, Lord Father. And, and Lord God, we just thank you, Lord Father, for revelation, Lord Father. For revelation is your it's the answer that you have already provided, Lord Father. And the answer is Jesus Christ, your son, Lord Father. The only way to get to you is through your son, Jesus Christ, Lord Father. And Lord God, for you are the, the way to life and the oh, truth, Lord you. Father. And we know that right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. So we are uh, just oh, praying that you order our steps today, Lord Father. Lead us and guide us, Lord Father, not into temptation, but deliver us from the unseen and unseen of the devil, Lord Father, of the wild devil, Lord Father. Lord, 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 we pray for the unsaved loved ones and and even and then the saved loved ones, Lord Father. Oh, 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 Lord, the ones that's being very lukewarm, the ones that's wrapped up in witchcraft, Lord, 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 Lord the ones that's in the best uh, in the best side of stage, Lord Father. Oh, Lord, keep them right now in the name, name of Jesus, Lord Father. It's your grace that uh, kept us, Lord Father. It's your grace that abounds and, and surround us, Lord Father. But, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, as we come to you, Lord Father, the prayer of the righteous is of much, Lord, and we know that, Lord Father, because it's in your word. So, Lord, we're just asking and requesting that you do the same for our unsaved loved ones, Lord okay, Father. Us, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, right now, Father, before you come back, before you make your return, Lord Father, we ask that the Holy Spirit will be able to Lord Father. Right on us on this day, Lord Father. Wherever we go, Lord Father, you be there with us, Lord Father. Have angels assigned to us, Lord Father. Going out and coming in, Lord, have angels in the name of Jesus. Uh, have mercy. Uh, have angels going on the jaws with us, Lord Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, right now, Father, we yes. come to steal, kill, and destroy, Lord Father. Oh, oh Lord, right now, we just pray that you on this day, Lord Father. 
that nobody will need you here with you. Um, by the need you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Oh, Lord, God. And, and, and Lord, Lord, any attack of him, Lord, Father, it shall be intercepted by the but by, 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 by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lord Father. Oh Lord, because you hold all the power in your hands, Lord Father. The grace and majesty belongs to you, Lord Father. Because they say that you're robed the majesty and you robed in grace, Lord Father. So we just want to say thank you, Lord Father, for your everlasting love, Lord Father, for your loving kindness, Lord Father. For, Lord, for your sweet anointing, Lord Father. Lord, go across every uh, every continent, every country, and every, uh, every zip code, area code, Lord Father. All over the world, Lord Father. The Judah, I, uh, Israel, and now all, all the, the bad and and I, the Iraq, Middle East, and China, and wherever you, wherever you, wherever your presence shows as well, Lord Father. Wherever the people are calling out your name, Lord Father. We ask right now, Lord God, that the mass. The, the, that the mass tones of the Holy Ghost begin to just pull, Lord Father, and the people just begin to cry out for name. And we go go in this century prayer, Lord Father, as they come in, Lord Father, go we come against every demonic um, attitude, Lord Father. It, um, anybody that come in trying to disrupt this broadcast, Lord Father. Anybody that try to flag our um, flag our um, watch. Anybody come up here trying to de denounce um, Jesus Christ, Lord God, we send that spirit back to the sender right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father. All witchcraft spirits, all all hatred, murdering spirits, Lord Father. Anything that's not, any unclean spirit, Lord Father, we must go back, Lord Father, to the feet of the Father. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 We thank God for everyone coming in this morning. We thank God for um uh, uh good morning, Sister Brandon. Good morning. We see you coming on in. Y'all come on in and share the broadcast. Amen. Um we're asking that um y'all come on with a praise on y'all tone. Y'all have a, a a a good testimony um set up for this morning. Those of y'all that want to testify. It is um such a too that it's probably the same. And and we just thank God for being here this morning. Amen. Because Jesus Christ is our solid rock. And, and we shall stand on that solid rock. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. He's a, he's a guilty of over, over our soul. Amen. Amen. They may give none to God. We thank God. We thank we thank him. He got all by himself. Amen. Amen. Um I just uh before the testimony to come on, um, I'm just wanna read a, a quick word with y'all. Um we're the first Timothy three. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Uh, it was uh, First Timothy four. We will go to First Timothy four. Try my verse in. Now it says, "The Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith." It's just like, it's just like now. Exactly. That's why this word is so prevalent. This word is so. Um, it, it, the word is, is is before its time and it's in its time. It, it is now the spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. What's going on all across the world now? You we're being seduced. We're being seduced in every, in every type of way, and, and, and uh, through sex, through um, religion, through through through, the, through our music, through, through wherever everything is being is seducing. seducing. Seducing spirits are moving. Doctrines of devils are moving in this world, and 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 and, and the people and the mass people are falling off. Seducing spirits have come into the church house and, and pulled men and women of God that would be mighty influence of God. They have pulled them, pulled that men and women that, that, that would be mighty instruments of God away from, 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 from the word of God. That they're operating in heresy. They're operating now in, 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 in 
would also do his spirits. And then, then he said, verse two said, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience, conscience seared with a hot iron. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, being hypocrites. Yeah. Being hypocrites, saying one thing and doing something different. Being hypocrites. That's Deacon what hypocrisy with, is. The deacons in church messing with the uh, young single women and they got wives and pastors doing the same thing. and Preaching one thing and doing something different. Yeah, and then, and, and, and then it says this right here, I, I, I've never heard this more than I have in this day. It said forbidding to marry, forbidding to marry. See, they're rather shack up and, 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 and go live with each other for 10, 15 years. You got 10 children with them. But and we've said, been well, fiancés. We, that's my fiance for the last 30 years. Yeah, that's my fiance. We got five kids. OK. Yeah. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Everybody vegan now. Nope. Mm -mm. Sustaining to, uh, it's, uh, uh, where you at? Oh, so, uh, um, to abstain from, from, abstaining from meat. Meat is the sincere milk of the word. Yeah. Meat is the gospel. It ain't even uh, talking about the natural meat. Well, well, it's well, talking well, about, I'm about to flip it on both ends, though. But, but, but it's talking about, but this is talking about the word. Folks, yeah, is not, yeah. they forbidden to marry and they stand away from the word of God. See, the word of God is command us to marry. Yes. It commands us to marry. It commands you to no masturbation, but don't shoot your sperm on the ground. It don't condone none of that. We <laughs> must marry. Right? And, even that right and, 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 and this thing, they folks don't want to marry because they're not eating on meat. They stand yeah. away from the meat. The word of God is going is going is going to convict you. It's going to either drive you closer or push you away. So it's going it's going to talk to you about your fornication, and folks don't want to hear that. And you just said the uh, key word masturbation. Do you know when you masturbate that that is a form of self worship? You, you, yeah, you're, you're pleasuring you're, yourself. You lift, you're, you're lifting yourself up. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a form of it's a form of idolatry. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you're worshiping yourself. It's a forbidden to marry, commanded to abstain from meats, which God mm -hmm. has to be received with thanksgiving. See, God so has, God has, God. Uh, uh, I don't think they heard it. I heard it. We both going on. Let me finish that last little bit. Thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. She said, abstaining from me, which God has created to be served with thanksgiving. Every portion, every morsel of the word of God, every morsel. Every morsel of this thing is to be served up with thanksgiving. Every morsel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every spread. Every Thanksgiving feast that we come to. Every time we walk into sound doctrine. Every time the table is spread. Every time the feast is going on. It is to be served with thanksgiving. This is the sincere milk of the word that we may grow. This is the meat when you stop drinking milk. Now you eat no meat. This is the meat folk is refusing to eat. This is why the world is in the shambles. They refuse to eat meat. They refuse to grow up. Everybody want to keep sucking on milk. Everybody want to keep sucking milk. Nobody refuse to eat. Nobody, Nobody want to grow up. Got teeth still sucking on meat. I mean, got teeth still sucking on milk. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like starting a job, an entry level job. You never you, you stay out. You never want to progress and get to the um, supervisorship. Or 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 or, 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 or climbing the corporate ladder. You always just every all your moves are out. Or you, ha you or you have a baby, or you have a baby, and after they one years old, and you still got them after they one and two years old, is you still got them latched on your nipple? You still got them with a pacifier in their mouth? You still got them sitting on pampers? Wait a minute, they're growing naturally, but you refuse to allow them to grow and to and to be. They don't know nothing. They ain't talking. You got to develop them. You got to encourage them. You got to feed them naturally. It's, you got to feed them so that they can grow. If you feed them naturally, you have to give them some things. You got to put something in their head. You can't mm -hmm. just tell them. You just can't keep telling them how beautiful she is. Can't keep telling them, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look, she need to learn something. Now drop some knowledge in her head because she's yeah. growing. 
See, sometimes you can stunt people's growth. Looks gonna only go, but so if it looks ain't even in no more. How about that? Because she ain't that cute. <laughs> Running around here peeing in a bed. Running around here peeing in a pamper. She ain't that cute now. At three years old, ain't potty trained. It's just eating like a grown woman and pooping like a grown woman. She ain't that cute. She might want to wipe her own behind at this point. See, you're stunting their growth. Twelve years old, sucking your thumb. Twelve years old, still sucking on your mama's nipples. Come on now, we, it's time to wing them off. Now it's time to give the baby meat, man. It's time to give the baby some meat. You know, enough is enough of this foolishness. The shenanigans must stop. At this point, it's time to eat some meat, and that's what's going on in the world. Folk are refusing. And forbidden to marry. Nobody, why, why marry the cow when I get the milk for free? No. Why marry her when she got five of my kids and I can come in there and I can she gonna cook for me? She got my dinner done, she got my clothes washed, folded, and got my military style iron and, and got got every every shirt in the closet three inches apart. She know the routine. Damn, make my marry her for my what? Mama. I ain't Damn got to, I ain't marrying her. I ain't got to. I'm getting Damn, all the fun benefits. Then made my lunch for tomorrow. And made my lunch for tomorrow. Okay. Made sure my mama got a birthday card and called my dad on Veterans Day. What? Marry her for what? Marry her for what? She already daughter in law. Marry her for what? She's doing everything. She, I got all the I got all the marital benefits. I got the 501 4K CTK plan. I'm all in. I'm on the dental. <laughs> I'm on her insurance. Marry her for why? I'm just saying, we doing too much. We doing too much. These brothers and sisters like marry her for what? These brothers like marry her for why? She's silly enough to give me her keys to her house, the keys to her car. Give me, put me on her, 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 her savings account. Put me on her checkings account. <laughs> marry yeah, her for what? But like Jody on baby boy. Come on, come on. Enough is enough. Enough is it's time we eat the sincere milk. Drink the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Once you begin to grow, put the milk down and eat, eat some meat. And the Bible talks about the sex, eating meat. It talks about that. Yeah. He talk about that. He talking about that. He talking about the word. They going against everything in the word. See, they forbidden to marry because they're too busy in the world. They ain't got into this word and found out how fornication, fornicators gonna have their part in the lake of fire that burned with fire and brimstone. See, they ain't read that yet because they ain't in the world. They in the world. The world got a fiance for 15 years. A five-year, 10-year fiance. <laughs> That's what I say about the fiance for the last five years. <laughs> And then, it, then it says, uh, verse four, for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. If it be refused with thanksgiving, hmm. for, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Hmm. Pray over hmm. it. Pray over it. Sanctify that thing. It's sad. It's sad because this is the, this is the day. This is the day. This is the day. And that's what these false teachers, this is the description of what, I tell you, everything has a look. Here's some, here's one of the descriptions of these false teachers. You want to know what's going on? Find them in the pool pit, unmarried, single as jailhouse. <laughs> Woo! She ain't got no husband. He don't either. I remember back in my day, you wasn't getting ordained unless you had a wife. How about no. that? Pastor no. wasn't going, Bishop wasn't putting you up. You wasn't going before the ordination board except you be married. Yeah. You wasn't even a candidate if you were single. Folk yeah. wasn't even single. Single wasn't even a thing. Everybody was wanting to be married so they can get their position in the pulpit. Yeah. And you was nah, not going or going to be a candidate to go if you was single. It wasn't going down. We was gonna, the, 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 the deacon board was going to help you stay saved. We was going to make sure we wasn't raising up no whorish pastors. You was not going to be up. You ain't going over nobody's church. Single. Nope. And when that minister finally got engaged, 
Everybody knew about it. The whole everybody, they were, everybody talked about it. Everybody talked. About it. You know, so, oh, oh, uh, you no, know uh, he about to go before the ordination board. You know, he ain't nothing but a preacher. He don't even act like don't it look like fun, girl. Watch this, just a matter of time. They gonna put him up before the board after a while. No, no. You wasn't going up no. talking about being somebody's pastor. I ain't never seen so many single whorish pastors in my life. I never seen so many single women, whorish pastors, women masters in my life, women masters in my life, because they ain't pastors, they masters. That's exactly what they're your still the masters. Man, probably that, yeah. you know what probably if I got it's gotta be honest. Last night was about two this morning. I was reading and you know, because I I, I just really want to know more about this thing right here. I mean, because you know, I came, I came out of that. I came out of women pastors. I came. I was in the. I, I was in. What was that? First Timothy. I was just 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 reading. Then just First reading. Timothy. Yeah. And I'm just about, about a woman, not a serpent authority over a man. Yeah. Well, it was first. Well, it was first the woman in the transgression. Yeah, and, and then how? I mean, the, God has His and His word is basic and simple, and it is. And how can we just, it's just go over bypass that and, and then just say, you know, you, 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 okay, I'm a woman. And so, so he don't want to take the role. So I'm going to take the role as, as being pastor. And, and, and so it don't work no, like that. No, 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 it don't. It don't. It don't. That's the mantle. You don't have the authority to pass down. That's just like men changing their sexuality as a want to a woman. He don't have the authority to change his orientation. He doesn't have the authority. A woman don't have the authority to decide or to make the change in her sexual orient. I mean, her sexual, her, her gender. She don't have, that's, that's a mantle. We just cannot shift. And just like now the Lord have specific directions for the aged women, the mothers. He, he said in Titus 2, 2 and 3 uh, through teach 2 and the 5. Young, for the old yeah. woman to teach the younger woman how they ought to behave themselves in the house of God. He said the, he said the teach age Teach them how women, to be humble and submissive before their husband. Yeah. Teach them. Oh. He no, said I'm the age women is like, I get excited. Well, I, I can't even say it, promise. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The age women like why that they be in the behavior as become a holiness, not false accusers, not giving them much wine, teachers of yeah. good things. Yeah. Y'all, mother, the mothers are supposed to be encouraging to the young women. They're supposed to feed, I mean, um, She's supposed to be training them. And the nur nourishing the young women and to be becoming the mothers, becoming to the, 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 that full manifestation of what God had created the woman to be. Training them, showing them all the skill sets, what we ought to do, the duties of a woman, the duties of a mother. The duties of a wife. This is what we're supposed to do. And it's funny how, how the devil just come in and pervert the roles of men and women. Pervert now the men want to be women and the, and the and the women want to be men. They dying women. to be women dying to be men. Men dying to be women. Literally dying. Losing their lives because they refuse to accept who God made them. Self-hate. They hate themselves that much. They feel God did, did nothing but made a mistake. God didn't know what he was doing. What type of deception was that? You know you've been deceived when you think the almighty master the almighty God, our father, which art in heaven, knows not what he's doing. When you think our father, which is in heaven, has made a mistake, you are in totally deception. You've been deceived. Totally Who has bewitched you? <laughs> it's just like that, uh, that, that, that man I was telling you about. Um, that, 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 um, uh, that, that guy, that, that he real obnoxious. And he'd be, he be talking to the single women. And he'd be, he be yes, telling the, them. The, the, the one that's always dry, dress fly. But, 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 he's always what? dressed up. He's a, he's a he's a he's a business coach. He's a, he's yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. he, he, his personality is very condescending. He's but very I, arrogant. He, 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 he's very arrogant. But 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 uh, some of the things he did tell the women, um, he did, he was he was hitting it on the right on the head because he told uh, he told one of them one time, and I was like, wow, he, he was just brutally honest with her. He yeah. he, he he told her. Um, um, uh, the, the woman said, "Well, I'm just looking for a man, and and and, and um, well, he needs to make it a hundred thousand, uh, of, of between a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand dollars a year for me, and, and, and all this and all that." And, and then she said, "But and then, then so he came and told her. He said, but you know what the scriptures say, right?'" 
When a man found the wife, he found the good thing. What wife qualities do you acquire? What to qualities me? do you have? And she's like, well, 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 um, 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 well, 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 I can support and, and I can do this and I can do that and I can do and I can love him and I and, and then she's like, and my cookies are good. And, and, then, and then so so he started bringing that. He brought this to the table. He said, but you already gave your cookies away for free. You got two kids. And and, and he was just letting them know that you know. You, 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 that de- that right there has devalued you. That yeah. has devalued you. So when you was a you was a, 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 a up here, you didn't fell down the notches because first of all, you didn't birth some other men's babies. Yes. So it actually doesn't matter. So these things just bring this devalue. It, it doesn't add value to yourself. What are you doing to value and add value to you? You got land. You own something. What what, what are you doing? You you merchant five thousand business owner b- b- CEO. Who, who, who are you? Mm-hmm. What you got going for yourself? Yeah, he's he's something. But I he's talking from a man, he's being honest from a man perspective, and he's talking from a different from a pool, a specific pool of men. Exactly. Exactly. And what they're looking for. Yeah. And but 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 if you flip that on the natural man, the spiritual side, then now, now you could, it, 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 I mean if you're coming through the, the God side of what do you have to, to, to um what is your value in the kingdom? Right. Are you uplifting um, um, uh, um, each other? Are, 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 you, are, you, are you saved? Are you saved? saved? Let's get back to the basics. Are you, are you saved? saved or bewitched? Come on. Let's just get to the basics of this stuff. Because you know, we can't even, we got to go right back down to ground zero. Are you saved? Who you know, you serving? This young lady came to me the other day and she asked me in private. She said, hey, how you doing? I said, I'm doing all right. And she's like, um, what you like doing in your spare time? I said, shoot, I said, I'm always in church. I'm doing things. I said, um, and I, I said, um, I'm a prophet. Oh, 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 oh. And she looked at me just like this. And she's like, oh, okay. And she's like, so you don't like to play cards and nothing like that and drink? And I said, that's a nah, honey. I mean, it's good. I mean, have a good day. But 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 the way how when people come to you and they see that you're serious about your craft, you're serious about your walk with Christ and they, and, and and everything else, that they, they'll look at you, they'll be like, wow, you don't give up the pleasures of the world, the pleasures of, of, of everything for, 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 for something that you can't see? But, 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 they don't but, understand but, it. But I began to let her know that it ain't, no, it ain't about what you're seeing. And it, with these eyes, it's about what you see in, in the spiritual. And it's, a, it, 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 it's what you feel. And you know that feeling of God is real. And so I began to talk to her and minister to her. And she was, mm-hmm. uh, and yeah, because I know I, you know, that that's. That's one of the that's you know I let the I let folks know in a minute I in my time what I like to do is delight myself in the Lord. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. That's what I like to do. Delight myself because that's what the Lord tells us to do. Delight mm-hmm. yourself in the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Delight yourself in the Lord. I don't even got to tell him who I am. That ain't even important. I like well, to spend time with the Lord, baby. Well, you and, know, what, you know what I'm saying. I like to spend time with the Lord. How about you? What do you do? Yeah. See, first of all, you ain't gonna interview me. <laughs> that ain't what we do. Because the person, the the, 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 well, the person, they, they'll know that that it's certain characteristics that you have about yourself. You don't curse. You don't go around looking at all these different women and stuff. You don't do all that kind of stuff. And and and, and, and your, your 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 faith. I mean, come on, my mind is I'm, I'm always I'm always on my uh, tablet or something looking up scriptures and stuff, and and then just praying and. Yeah. And you know, and so yeah. people delighting are, yourself in the Lord, keeping your mind on Jesus. Yeah, we yeah. ain't got time to be sitting around here, uh, being a girl watcher, being the boy watcher, watching folk. Look, I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, now, you, you're under investigation, but look, so yeah. know that, that that's yeah. just that's just it. Everybody is under, everybody is a subject, yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody, you know. But I'm just saying, we got to be careful. What we doing and how we spending our time? Because you know, you know what's going on out here in the world today. We got stuff going on. We got stuff going on. We got stuff going on, people. Stuff is going on out here in the world that we need to be ourselves. We need to keep our face, keep ourselves 
focused. So much going on, so much going on, so much going on, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, my stuff going on. It is so much. Amen. Amen. Right. Deception and confusion. LOL, all plan. All plans, right. 503Cs, insurance plans, you know, dental plans. <laughs> exactly, Sister Smalls. Exactly. Ain't nobody got time. We didn't sign them up. We didn't put them. They are they are a uh, be beneficiary. They all that. Marry her for why? Marry them for what? I ain't thinking about it. I thank God, Sister M Miss McLeod. So good to see you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So good to see everybody on the line. I thank God. That's the scripture right there. That's what that's the, that that's the scripture right there. You have to be careful. You have to be careful, and be not deceived. And be, listen, be not deceived. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Man, you know what? Probably um, last night. Uh, I was listening to a report and um, it just let me know how perverse this world is. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and it, it was so disgusting to me, I wrote it down. And it said, uh, those of y'all that, 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 that's thinking about taking these vaccines and, 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 and well, they're not even real vaccine, they, uh, what they call experimental drugs. Experimental drugs. Yeah, experimental drugs. Y'all think about going to take these experimental drugs? There was a uh, story from uh, out of Pittsburgh uh, University, um, uh, and in that story, it said that um, that Dr. Fauci, um, he 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 has an organization. They and he funded a grant for four hundred thousand uh, dollars to Pittsburgh University to to, to do. Laboratory research with these mice or rats to get baby fetuses, the, the baby fetuses' hair, their scalps. Uh, they shave the scalps off the babies um, once they're aborted. They, they, they got their scalps and they put the scalps on the mice and, and they had the mice growing human hair on the top of their head. And so they come up with all, all these different kind of things to just kind of just 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 uh, to pervert the human race to make everything that god created pervert they're perverted they're finding they're themselves perverted. to pervert yeah, god. everything a disrespect a complete disrespect to god because you got totally money slap in the face and that, now 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 you're going around here you, you're taking a scalp off a human uh aborted human guy that, that, that already shouldn't have been aborted as is and and you attaching that scalp into a, a, a rat or a mice or, yeah. or a mouse. Yeah. And to until you wake up and it lost your mind. Till you wake up and can't figure out where you misplaced your mind at. Now you looking all crazy. See, now you don't remember who you are and don't remember how you got where you are. Don't remember that you got all this money. Don't even remember that you got the Fauci. Right? Don't even remember yourself because you forgot who God was. It's important, folk. I want to say good morning. Um, good morning, good morning to Miss uh, Miss McGee. Good morning, good morning to Miss All Good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Listen, listen. Who are you serving today? God who is the God? Listen. Who are you serving today? Who are you serving? You still working it out? You still figuring it out? You still unsaved? You still unrighteous? You still unholy? You still unthankful? You still ungrateful? Who are we today? Who are we, sir? Are we saved today? Huh? If we died in the next 30 minutes, do we have an idea where you may land up? You hung over this morning? Huh? You hung <clears> over? <throat> You've been out watching the game, sipping and carrying on? What, what's, what's going on? Where, where, you, where you stand at with the Lord today? Just so like you know that you know story. that you know that you know, or you still, or you got your life, your soul is in limbo, you know, or, or have you made a de definitive decision to serve my father, which is in heaven, our father in heaven, because there's a whole lot of God. So you got to remember because the gods of this world has blind you all to the truth. So you got to be sure you got to know the God that you're serving. Just like my nurse said, just like this right here, everybody has a heartbeat. All it takes for one, one, one millisecond of your heartbeat just to skip. 
What's the first name? You, what's the first name you gonna go to call uh, uh, if you if you miss your heartbeat before you go unconscious? Mm -hmm. You are gonna be like Jesus or, or, or God? Who is your God? Who is your God? If you would have fall within the first fifteen seconds, air can't get to your brain. Oxygen can't get to your brain. He said, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And the only way to get to the only way to get to the Father is through Jesus Christ. So, so, so God is giving you, He's giving you ample time. He's giving you a uh, strategy. Uh, um, uh, he's giving you di a direct path on how to get to him. But but what we want to do, everybody want to remix everything. Everything want to make everything acceptable to the, to their lifestyle, to how they do things. Well, I'm so uh, I, well, 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 I'm gifted in this right here, but but God always been speaking to me. No, it was it was it was the grace and mercy of God that 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 helped you from being snatched up out of here. Because man, I ain't gonna get into it because I've been. Uh, it, 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 I'm just I'm just telling you, just don't play with God. This is not the time. This is not the uh, place. This is not the season. Too many people are dying. The young, old, babies, middle age, the people are dropping dead. You see, if you go back to January, just January 1st of this year, you count how many people that have died just, just on this calendar of 2021. Yep. And, and the sad thing about it, we still in 2021. So December, December is still a monster uh, coming before us. And so we still got a whole nother month. You don't know how your world will end uh, you know, if you're fortunate to be able to, to see 2022. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You take Jesus. things for granted. You think everything is, is automatic. I think everything is gonna be the everything is gonna be what it is. We got a monopoly on life. We got time. But I want to do things my way. My way, but 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 I'm in cool God when I get ready. Well, that ain't the second one for you We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Not even who you who you say you're serving, but or not even who you claim you're serving, but who are you physically serving? What who are you worshiping? Everybody's saying they serving God, but who are you worshiping? But, but, yeah. but, but what is what is the evidence of them serving serving the God of, of uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? What is the evidence? What lifestyle um, changes have you made? Do you pray? Do you fast? Are you uh, are you uh, um, uh, admonishing the brothers and sisters of, in, 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 of the world? Are you loving on one another? Mm. Are you, you said you love me with me? You said you, you love me with your mouth, but your heart is far from me. Amen. You love me Amen. with your mouth, but your heart is so is far from it. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Sister Johnson. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Share, swipe, and invite the broadcast. Share it with a friend. Share it on a page. Share it with your friends. Share it to the family news. Share it, share it, share it. Remember, uh, up. And remember the phone lines are, are, are open. The phone um, lines are open if you want to call and if you want to call and give a testimony of the goodness of the Lord. Bible said that the gods of this world has blind men to the truth. And the day God come to you, harden not your heart. See, this ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go because the God that the way God going to come to his ways is not your ways. See, his thoughts is not your thoughts. You want him and you think it's going to happen this way, but he got his own set time and agenda and his own set individual person, place and thing. And how he going to come and come at you. And when he come ready or not, you better shift. Or else, now we on a timer. Tick tock. See, that's the part I hate. Oh, now the timer is off. Now I'm gonna show y'all something. Give y'all this illustration. It's like this. Hold on, saints. Let me let me do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Let me do this. I'll be right back. I'm gonna show y'all this. This. this, this, this. Everybody can relate to this. Ouch. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hey, remember, we thank God for y'all coming thank in. You, Jesus. Come on in, guys. Yes, Lord. We bless your holy name. When God come to you and you ain't ready and you talking about, I got this. I ain't ready yet. Not now. Tomorrow. Mm. This is what start happening to your world. Timers are set. Now, time start winding up. Now the devil go to work to begin to set up a series of events to get you trapped up so far, so deep in a comatose state, in a web that you can't even see the front door to get out. You can't tap out if you wanted to at this point. This is, this is, I'm gonna I'm put this right down here to the side. That's what's in to happen. That's what tends to happen when we, when we don't hearken and the day God come to us and the day God starts shifting our world and starts manifesting himself in our lives through his man or woman servant, through an event or something that's took place through uh, opportunity to repent and get ourselves on track. Things begin to happen. Yeah, mm -hmm. things begin to happen. Yep, that seems that that that's just be it. Don't let the clock end up on you, um, and you're not on the right side of righteousness. Well, I tell you what, I tell you what, uh, something that I often live by, I'll share it with you. But everything has an expiration date, baby, including even you. Everything has a look and everything has an expiration date. Don't let it be said too late. And don't get caught with your britches down, baby. Don't get caught trying to figure it out when God has given us a way out. See, he already did it. Oh. That's your midway point. God didn't gave, God didn't gave us an opportunity. Man. God has given us opportunity. So you have one day, two days, 30 days, 10 days later, 12 days later, 15 days later. Mm -hmm. Time just going. She said, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I know that to be the truth. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the way out. Lord, I thank you. To God be the glory. You better know it, mother. He said, if I don't remove your temptation, if I don't remove that thing, I am God. I am that I am. I make a way for you to escape. I will open a window. I will create an escape route for you, baby. Don't you worry. Come on, follow me. I got you. Let me help you out of this. You in deep. You, you got alcohol, boyfriends, girlfriends. You got kids. You got this. You got lack of job. You got lack of money. You're in poverty. You got a crab man mentality. Listen, you got all kind of demonic forces of darkness built up against you. Baby, you in deep. I'm going to create this way of your escape. I'm going to make sure I'm going to get you out. Come on, follow me. Let me help you get out of here. Let me help you get out of here. And you say, no, Lord, I think I'm a, I am think I got it. I, I, I think I got it. Don't worry about me. I, I'm good. Thank you, but no thank you. Woo! Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm going to tell you what. I didn't know God. I tell you, my, back, my, my, my background ain't pretty. I come from Baptist, Jehovah Witness, and Catholic. But I, and I didn't know a whole lot of nothing about nothing. But I tell you what I did know, and it was like automatic. I didn't know that I knew it until I needed to know that I knew it. Right. What I knew was that was the Lord that came for me. I knew that that was God. I knew that shift in my world with nobody but the Lord. The shift, the way it happened, it was nobody but the Lord. And baby, I grabbed a hold of that thing and I hold on tight and I've been holding on and I'm still yet holding on. I'm holding on. Don't let go. Don't let go, don't let go, don't let go, don't let nobody deceive you, don't let nobody trick you, don't, don't let, don't let, nope, don't let, don't you do it, don't you do it. 
I love, I, I, I'm, I'm one that love hard. I love folks. I love people. I ain't got to know you. Baby, I love you. That's just who I am. And let me tell you something. I will love you so much and let your funny looking stuff go so quick <laughs> and cry the whole time doing it. But I will love you enough to let you go. Amen. I will not love you enough that I'm going to hell with you. I'm going to hell for you. I don't love you enough that I'm coming to visit. I don't love you enough that I'm coming to drop a cool glass of water off at the doorstep at the hell gates. I ain't dropping off a bag of ices. I ain't doing none of that. No. Count me out. I ain't coming. <laughs> Period. And I'm being honest with you. So when I don't show up, don't act like you ain't no. Don't you act like you ain't no. Amen. Don't you act like that. Now, come on now. Now, you know I ain't coming out and told you this all your life. Now you sitting here looking all crazy. You knew I wasn't coming. You knew I wasn't going to fall for that foolishness. Then one day, Amen. 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 Those y'all that have names to be added to prayer, go ahead and add your names. Add your names. Um, what we already go into prayer. We're approaching the seven o'clock hour. Amen. Amen. Then one day out the blue. So we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. Then one day out the, out the blue, your time is up. Your bell is called. I needed the timer. I thought that didn't go the way I anticipated it was going to go. And don't nothing go the way we anticipate it's supposed to go when we ain't got God. Nothing goes the way. See that didn't my illustration didn't even. It was supposed to. It was supposed to go off out of the blue and scare the daylights out of all of us because that's death coming for us unexpected, catching us all off guard. That's what I was expecting to happen. My little alarm was gonna go. No, 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 but, but probably it did how I was supposed to do it. But, but because, you know, God will come like a thief in the night. Suddenly. <laughs> Suddenly. So, so you think there's going to be a big pizzazz, you're going to be a nerd. <laughs> but here it is, God, he's going he, he to be gonna stuck behind you. He's going to be already be standing behind you. No time, up. Yep. That's it. Be looking for you. I ain't seen so and so. Whatever happened to what? What in the world? And you so caught up in things that you got going on because that's what the Lord. That's what happens. You be caught up and you don't even realize that Susie didn't disappear. Bob is gone. You ain't seen Janice in a minute. Where the heck did Jeff go? Did, when the last time somebody talked to Sally and, and Jeff? Ain't nobody seen them. And you like, girl, somebody. I heard that they died about six months ago. What? Yeah. This is what's happening. This is what's happening in the world. Folk is just being snuffed out. Folk being taken out. Folk is just disappearing. Do you know that we you do you know how many? What's the number? Does anybody remember know the number at this at this point? Y'all know how many people didn't die behind this COVID stuff? Mm -hmm. So many young folks been dying and going to jail for murder in these streets. And you're like, oh, girl, how your son's doing? Girl, that boy in jail for murder. Girl, that boy didn't die. Girl, I lost him about three years ago. What? Yeah, he was the one that got gunned down. And so you like, I saw that on the news. I had no, I, it didn't even ring a bell. Kids, you didn't watch growing, coming to the world. Good morning, good morning, uh, Sissy Davidson. People that you didn't watch coming to the world. You wake up one day, you see, see girl, how your son do? Girl, he gone. Girl, I mm -hmm. lost him to gun violence. I lost, girl, he in jail. Somebody that murdered him, girl, he didn't murder somebody, girl. They, they doing, he doing, he is so, you like, what? <coughs> what? I remember when he used to run around in Pampers. I remember when he used to run through my house, I used to keep him on the weekends. Like, what in the God's green earth, what happened? Where do we go wrong? What are we doing, people? Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! That's Jesus why. is coming. That's There's why. a storm. And that's why God is telling us stop babying these kids so much. Stop, stop. I mean, if we got grown kids and we treat these kids like well, we're trying to give them too much and they're expecting too much and they're not respecting the fact. Uh, 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 it's your mama, your daddy. They don't respect the fact that your mama, your daddy. Everything's going to be given to them. They have to go through like how you had to go through, how I had to go through. 
That's why they don't know nothing. That's why they don't have no faith because you refuse to let them and watch them go through. Because we refuse to watch and allow them to go through. Let your sons be men. You, you know, and this is coming from a man. In order for a, 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 a young man to grow and be a, a, a successful man, to, to, to be a righteous man, we got to bump our head a couple of times. We got to fall down and scrape our knees and get back up. That's what the that's what the mentality of a man is. I can't have mama picking me up. I can't have daddy uh, run out there saving me all the time. You know what? I'm going to tell you, when I was 16 years old, my granddaddy and uh, grandmama um, uh, told me, um, well, I was already working. My first job was at Burger King. And so it, uh, I worked there four days a week, five, almost five days a week, including the weekends. And they told me, that they said, well, when you get ready to get your car, we want to see how you work through the summer and how you work through school and, 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 and whatever you um, save up to get your car, we'll, 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 um, we'll meet you at, at a certain level. Or what we'll, we'll give it. you, we will match it. I said okay. So so I get to the point. I didn't need them because, because I, I I started because I, I had been working my whole life. So so by the time it was time for me to get my car by by, by that September, I was because I in my, in my mind that whole summer, I, I was focused on okay. Uh, I'm gonna give me a car. I want my, my, my first day of school. I, you know I I, I want to be right. I, I want to have my car right. I, I want to be able to. We could go going and you know uh, have my little girlfriend riding the side of the car with me, and, and they just be ready. And so, but I worked so hard on that summer. They were so impressed because they didn't even have to match the money with me. And so, so everything, it, 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 um, you know, God gave me the ability to be able to get out there and work and save my money. And and so when I went out there, I, of course there was a little hoop deal, whatever. It, it, um, yeah, it, um, so. When I remember one of the first times I broke down on the highway, and um, and I'm out there doing something I shouldn't have been doing or whatever. But and so, and my and I called my granddaddy, and I said, "Dad, uh, can you come help me?" I said, "I'm straight on the side of the road." So my granddaddy, he got up out of his bed about about ten at night, and and, and um, and he came to the side of the road. He said, "He said, hey boy, let me tell you something." He said, "I'm I'm gonna let you know this now. I'm gonna help you this time." But, but he said, you're going to respect my house coming to my, you ain't going to be coming to my house all late. I'm going to say, you should have had your narrow behind in the house already. Come 10 o'clock, you're knocking well, on well, doors, talking about, can you come help me call him folk? <laughs> well, 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 uh, well, I had a curfew at 11 anyway. But, oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so I was on my way anyway. But 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 he was like, you ain't going to be coming to my house all late. And he said, I'm going to show you what to do. And, and so, but he had been preparing me how to change tires, how to change the jack, uh, how to change my oil and stuff all before this. But, 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 but then, um, so at that time, well, he got me jumped off and, and, and then he just began to, um, guide me home with the car. And, and so he began to tell me, he said, take mental note of this and watch what we're yeah. doing because I'm not always going to be here. There you go. I'm there not always going to be here. So, so, so there by the time... So, so years had passed by, and here it is. I had a wife, and I had a daughter, and we riding one day, and, 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 and we caught a flat tire. And I thank God I was able to get outside my, um, uh, and, and we're on the side of 25. Anybody know, know 25 in Atlanta is it, very congested. And, and so, and so All the my time. Wife, <laughs> and my, my wife at the time, she, she was like, um, um, baby, we're going to call AAA. I said, no, I'm about to get here and change this tire. So, so I got out there and changed the tire. When she looked at me, she was like, it was like a, a whole new respect because she seen the, 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 uh, um, the manly features, uh, you know, a man, you know, mm -hmm. taking control. And then no woman wants to be with a man that can't, 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 can't provide, can't, 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 can't lead. Can't lead. Can't lead. You, 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 and you know what? And God, put together God, the God, itinerary. Can't, can't figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah. A man, a man, D man, now they turn around to their wife. Well, baby, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Or, 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 well, um, or, 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 or you got it, baby, and I, and I get the next one. Nah, nah, you know, 
when it comes to situations like that, help us today. The, the man is supposed to read. The man is the man is the leader. He is the head. He is he is he 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 sets the temple for his home. He set the temple. It is important. That's why the Bible talks about when a man de desires the office of a bishop. Come on, I was just read. Come on, is it, is it, uh, second. I mean, First Timothy, uh, the second chapter. That's why the Bible speaks about that. That he must be temperament. He must have temperament. He must have. He, he must be patient, mm -hmm. long suffering. One wife. Slow, slow to anger, not easily angered. No drunkard. One wife. Children have his children under control. They're not railers. They're not broader. They're not out here in gangs and carrying on. Mm -hmm. and making them making them shame. Mm -hmm. And you the bishop, and your son is a gang, crip blood, crip gang bang dang finger, raper, molester, robbing the people, terrorizing the neighborhood, raping the old people in the neighborhood. I mean, just stuff. It's like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's why the Bible speaks about these things. This is the this is the characteristics. This is the look. These are the characteristics. These are the characteristics what that, that's required of you. Not greedy or filthy looker, looker. See, he ain't gonna sell out the congregation for a few dollars. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna sell them out. He ain't gonna bring in a gang of his people of, of his other gang members from other churches to rape his church to get money out of them because they won't give. So he bring in this phone and they in the back, the back, and they in the back. Uh, 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 plotting how they going to raise and tell the people they need to come up with X amount of dollars by the end of the service. Got folks, folks trusting you and believing in you, bringing in their rent money, bringing in the mortgage, bringing it up. Oh, help us today. Help us today. Help us today. We got to be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. See, he's vigilant, he's sober, he's blameless. <laughs> Probably I was, I was just reading this this morning. We got to be careful, as the Bible says. <laughs> blameless, the husband of one wife. It don't mean that he ain't only been married once in his life. It just means he got one at a time. It's not a big one. Um, he, he, uh, he's not a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, a bigamist. Uh, a bigamist, yes. He's yes. not a bigamist. He ain't got two, three, four wives at a time. And you got some of these people in the in the church talking about men are supposed to have more than one wife, but they did in the biblical times. It, it's a, it was a difference between a wife and a concubine. You better know it. See, that was a side piece. That's what they didn't know. She was a trade-off. See, she was enslaved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how that's what we did. See, they ain't had no rice and beans to trade off. So they said, you know, I got these girls over here. See, that's that was the, the value, that was the value of a of a daughter. Huh? Mm -hmm. She 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 was merchandise. Come on, people. She was a trade-off. King, I got a present for you. Take my daughter. Like, you know, you know this king was nasty, mean, nasty ruler. You done gave him your doggone seed. It was a whole lot of stuff that we did that the cease and dismiss order to as well in the Bible day. Mm -hmm. Brothers was laying, sons was laying with their sisters too. He put a cease and dismiss order to that to that uh, 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 incest. Yeah, they did. So we can't be, you know, we got to, that's why all that getting, get an understanding. We got to be current. Know the time that you're in. Stop trying to go on yesterday's grace and get going on today's faith. Pass your neck. Forget what you got yesterday and what they did 200,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago. Cast your neck today. I thank you. <laughs> I, Lord, I, listen, I just thank the Lord for loving on me today. I'm grateful for the day's mercy. <laughs> and go through the day on last month's mercy, last yesterday's mercy, let alone 2,000 years ago's mercy. Come on, people. Yeah, outdated. I was talking to uh, one of the one of the young the young men I met on yesterday. 
he and his wife, Mr. Francis, and he told me, so, oh, I was he's like, can you take pictures? Can you take these pictures for us? I said, absolutely. So I was taking pictures of him and his wife um, out at the boardwalk and just some different some different flicks. They out there on the water and da 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 taking pictures, taking pictures. So when they uh, so when they saw the pictures, I said, well, just let me know if they are right. You know, I'll take some other pictures. So his wife was like, no, these are perfect. Oh my goodness, you got that angle. You got the whole thing. Oh my God. So Mr. Francis jumped in and was like, that's that camera. I tell you, that's that phone. That's that camera. I, I said, oh, what kind of phone you got? Oh, I got a 21. Uh, a, a SIS 2000. 2001. I was something. But he got to update. My, he got a brand new phone hot off the press. And the camera is superb. I mean, just crisp pictures. You know? <laughs> And I'm saying he's in he's in the day. He's current. He's up to date. I said, well, I, I'm holding on to a, 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 a Note 9. You know, I'm way behind. I'm way behind. I'm way behind. So she my was, my I got an iPhone. I said, oh, I do too. I got a, you know, I got an 11. But even that's behind. Well, you know what? You, you want to go? My phone's outdated. I'm like, I'm, I'm behind. I don't be in no rush to get no new phone. That ain't my hey, you, you you want to keep all that tightness so you got to pay for it. Huh? You want to keep all that tightness, all that new stuff. You want you gotta pay pay the price. Yeah, you know, so I if it's necessary, I'll upgrade. If not, I, maybe I'm all if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, we gotta we gotta don't be foolishly spending with our funds. I just I listen, guys, know what you're dealing with, know who you're dealing with, know who's know who's you are, know who's you are. Know that you know that you know. Don't be assuming that you know and come up show mm -hmm. on judgment and come up and come up and judge. Be on rotation for judgment day. Just like how that bell just went off and you didn't even hear it. Didn't even and, hear it. See what I'm saying? You ain't all you know. You didn't woke up in hell. You didn't woke up in a whole nother place. No, no, no. I hear it. I hear it. Probably that bell bit on um, went off. And you didn't even hear it, and you turn around and the deaf angel standing there looking at you, standing there about to toss you in the lake. Lord. He's standing about 10 feet tall and he just grabbed you. What you gonna say? What can you well, say? The first of all, you're gonna be in like, oh <laughs> yep. yep. This must this is it. This is it. Help us today, Lord. And, and further and in and, 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 and the back of your mind, you'll be like, I need more time. Um, more time, more time. So I know I know God is real. No, it's too late then. God gave you evidence. He gave us ample time to get this thing together. We've been dragging our feet. We've been procrastinating. We've been dragging our feet. 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 We've been making excuses. We've been doing our own thing. We've been thought we had time. We don't. Pop lock and dropping it like it's hot. We just don't. God, please put your put your put your prayer request in the in the comment box. Uh, we want to continue to keep Amaja. Lifted up in prayer, nearly uh, the nearly family. Uh, we just give it. We just asking God to just transform uh, brother nearly now, Mister nearly by the renewing of his mind, creating him a clean heart, renew within him a right spirit. We asking God to cover, protect, shield, and direct the France, Mister and Missus Francis, the Francis family, the McGee family, uh, 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 Mister nearly and his family. Um, uh, Miss Connie B and her family, Miss uh, Miss Kelly Tyler, Miss Kelly Taylor. Uh, uh, fighting and struggling with MS. We're just asking God to do a greater work in folks. Uh, Mr. David P uh, Person, uh, Parson, uh, Miss Lafayette and her family, Miss um, Evangelist, 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 Miss Lafayette and her family, Miss e Evangelist Barry. In the name of Jesus, we just asking God to do, we asking God to transform the minds. Give us a made up mind. We asking God to cover Miss McGee and her children. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, here we go. Miss Carol Harris. Oh, I got two different. Oh, I got I got two different pages going back and forth. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. In the name of Jesus, I'm just asking God. The Adams family, the Neely family, um, um, 
just asking God to cover, protect, shield, and direct. We need travel, travel mercy for the Francis family. Uh, Miss Francis over in Jamaica, we asking God to cover her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Um, And Miss Francis and I and I met the Francis family. I met Mr. and Mrs. Francis, and he's Caribbean or so. he's from he's an island. I'm wondering if that is Miss Francis is his is his family. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised what God is doing. What God is doing. What God is doing. What God is doing. People, God is doing some things. God is moving in the land. Don't be. Don't do not miss an opportunity to get your life right with God. Do not shut the door in His face. Do not. Do not. I beg of you on today. Do not. I don't care if you don't understand it. It does. I know it's scary. I know it could be an intimate. I know it could be intimidating. But look at where you are today. Look at the struggle that you got today. Look at what you got going on today. Look at your life and where it is on today. Mm. Trust God. Try God. Taste God and see that the Lord is good. Taste mm. and see that the Lord is good. Don't be afraid. Don't be intimidated. He will not hurt you. He is a gentleman. He is a gentleman. He did not come to hurt you. Amen. He did not come to hurt you. Continue to keep um, Nettie Nixon lifted up in prayer. Miss Joyner. I'm not sure what's going on with Miss Joyner. It's been a while since I've heard from her. I haven't heard from Miss Joyner in about a year or so. I hope and pray she's all right. Hallelujah. Keep Jermaine Warren lifted in prayer in the name of Jesus, the Warren family. Hallelujah. You, you gave it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, the Humphrey family, the Smith family, the, uh, the uh, Cache Studmeyer, uh, one of my students, one of my uh, Sammy, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Keep the Platt family in prayer. The the Warnsley family, the the, uh, the my sister Mary Johnson, sister Brandon and family, um, sister Bower and family, Mama and Pop Bower, Tamika Bower, Baby Woods, um, Mother Norman, uh, Baby Shamir, and um, Mother Norman's granddaughter that had surgery a couple about a, what, about three weeks ago. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Lord, we praise you. We lift you. We honor you. It's just a small and, yes. and all the small family, Mother Smalls. Mother Smalls. Mm -hmm. Ty, uh, Mr. Tyrone Smalls, senior. Yes. Tyrone Smalls, junior. Yes. Tajay and, and, and Piero. Smalls. The grandchildren in the name of Jesus, Lord, moving on, on their behalf. Uh, a Davi in his stomach condition, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Whatever the case may be, we rebuke all witchcraft. We rebuke every demonic force of darkness, all strongholds. We ask right now, God, that you will go to his school, go to him in his sleep, wherever he is right now in the name of Jesus, and rebuke the curse. Reverse the curse. We rebuke every demonic force of darkness that come up against his health. We rebuke every psychological issue. We rebuke every witchcraft issue. We rebuke the abuse. We ask right now, oh God, we ask right now, oh God, that you would guard his mind, guard his mind, guard his mind from all psychological abuse and all strongholds from his mother. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke it today. We rebuke it today. All the abuse, all the abuse, all the abandonment, all the hatred. Just a mother as well cover her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Transform her by the renewing of her mind. We rebuke every demonic force of darkness. The Carson family. The Carson family. 
the Carson family, the Tatum family, Denise Warren, thank you, Holy Spirit, Denise Warren, grieving the loss of her mother, my aunt. Cover Denise Warren from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Have mercy, oh God. Let your perfect will in her life be done. In the name of Jesus, the Tab family. Lord, we ask right now as they grieve in the morning, the grieving the loss, everybody that's grieving loss. Jamila, Jamila Tucker. Amen. Jamila Tucker. Keep, keep Miss Tucker, Lord. Keep her mind. Dr. Perkins. Keep, keep her mind, soul, body, and spirit, Lord. Brenda Perkins. All of those that are mourning the loss of their mothers, the loss of their father. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Rona Warren. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Anybody All of those is lost, mourning losses, losses Anybody of their children, their cancer. sons. Anybody going through cancer treatment? Cancer treatment, sicknesses, and, and diseases right now. All those mourning the deaths, mourning the loss. More than all those that has lost someone in COVID-19, didn't have an opportunity to say goodbye, never had the opportunity. This is exactly what's about to happen. Brace yourself, people. So many of us is going to not have the opportunity to say goodbye, not going to have the opportunity to tie up loose ends, not going to have a whole lot of opportunity to get things together, get place things in order, put things in place. The, 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 the prophet told uh, 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 King Hezekiah, Go get your house in order. Because the Lord required thee of this day. Your death is coming. Death is coming for you. Your time has come. You're about to die. Get your house in order. 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 See? Get your house in order. What I love about the story is, wait a minute now, because he was a servant of God. He said, hold tight. The devil is a lie. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. He had jurisdiction. He had some power. He had the authority. He had a leg to stand on to go and petition the Lord for more time on the earth. I'm not ready to die. And he gave him 15 more years. Listen. Instantaneous prayer. I ain't talking about a prayer and it took 15 minutes, 15 hours and 15 days to come down with an answer. I'm talking the Bible read before Jonathan was able, before Jonathan the prophet was able to get out the court gates. He told him, he said, turn around and go back and tell my manservant, my grace is sufficient to him. I give him 15 more years. Come on. See, that's the kind of, that's the kind of, that's the kind of beseeching and the kind of uh, 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 communication you can have with the Lord. That's the kind of that's the kind of petition you can take to the Lord when you've given your life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You can go in there bargaining some things. Well, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait, 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 Lord, hold tight now, Jesus. Wait a minute now. I didn't, I didn't suffer for you, Lord. Do you know how awesome that is, though, probably? What do you think I'm talking about? I'm talking about the awesomeness of that position. Well, no, I'm just saying this. This thing about this, that 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 a, a death sentence had been placed on your head, and and then and then God loved you so much, and you was so much in right standing with Him, and He came back and told you, no, you got 15 more years, and just to know you got 15 more years in your life, and and um and and just know that God got me. God, God, as he, just like the prophet said, if he did it for him, he could do it for us. Yeah, do what he did. He was serving him, and he came to him with that petition. He reminded the Lord, wait a minute. I've turned these folks' hearts back to you. I've, I've teached sound doctrine. Nothing that I did was for me. I wasn't edifying me. I wasn't putting me up. I wasn't serving me. I wasn't, I wasn't, shilling, I wasn't selling my shirts. I was selling hmm. sound doctrine. Huh? I wasn't promoting my t-shirts. I wasn't promoting products. I was promoting sound doctrine, Lord. I ain't ready yet, Lord. I ain't ready. My sons ain't saved. My daughter's still out. I, no, I ain't ready. My house ain't in order. I ain't ready Lord, to go. Because, Lord, I know if I if I leave these, these kids, they're they not saved. It's going to be all haywire and, unless you step in, Lord. However, you got to read a little further because after that now, after that now, now yeah. you get petition to stay for 15 more years. Now you got to make sure that you make it in. Now you see, sometimes yeah. you come get us a little early because if we stay, we may lose our own soul. You 
you got to count up a cost. Make sure if it's worth it staying or not. If you have you already been trying to get them saved thus far and they still rebelling and won't come, then they blood on their own and you better shake the dust off your feet and move on. The chariot come for you, you can't tell the train to hold on and wait a minute. How come are you, uh, Miss Kim? I see you, Miss Morrison. I see you, Kim. You can't sit back and say, Lord, see, you got to count up the cost. Read the end of this. So read well, yeah, what the yeah. end going to be. Yes, you got to see what, hey, come on now, bro. Hey, <laughs> you don't know nothing about that song. <laughs> you got to wait and see what the end going to be. Hold tight. <laughs> got to watch yourself. See, we want, we want to, we want to, we don't, we ain't ready to die, but we ain't, we ain't, we, ain't, we, we want to stay. We want to, we ain't ready to die, but we want to be extended. We want an extended stay to continue in our mess. Come All on. this lasciviousness and lesbianism and homosexuality and smoking and drinking and cussing and fussing and acting a fool out here, acting a donkey. Sometimes it's best you better go on and pack your bags, get your house in order and serve God and praise God and get sanctified and saved and go on about your happy go lucky way and go on with the chariot when it come by because you may not make it when the train come next go round in 15 more years. 15 more years, you may not be saved no more. Yeah. By that time, you've been and got sucked out to church. So you might want, don't listen. I don't know if I want to stay. <laughs> Because if, if you told me to get my house in order before I'm about to die, you know something I don't know. I think I might want to just go with the flow with this one. Staying may cost you something. Uh-oh. Okay. Man, sometimes it ain't work. I ain't, look, I ain't going to hell for mine. I love them. Love you, sis. Love you, bro, bro. Love you, baby boy. GG, love you. But I got to, but, 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 but y'all better sink or swim. Sink or swim. Now you on the earth, raising hell with the kids, acting a donkey with the kids, smoking and drinking with the kids, pop locking with the kids, running tricks with the kids, huh? Yeah, robbing and stealing with the kids, tricking, tricking and scamming with the kids, sliding up and down poles with the kids. And they know, and you know it, and, and the most disrespectful thing about it, they know that you live a holy life. And here they go bringing all that crap in your house and bringing all the bud and all the weed they and... And, and, and you know, bring the alcohol in your house, going out there smoking it in your front yard, and and you you, you, you spend the hours upon days praying and sanctification going on in your house. You fasting, and, 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 and by by being associated with them, you contaminate uh, the, the the holiness that's already been presented before God. So so it's just like you. I mean, you did it in vain. And 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 you wonder why they ain't saved yet. And you wonder why they ain't saved yet. They ain't saved because they see you a joke. But the moment they come through the door with smelling like they smelling, like they've been smelling like something, baby, I turn them around at the door. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't turn them around at the door because my children already know. Don't come to my house high. Don't even think about it. Don't even call me. They all, my children already know. Ma, I'm going to catch up with you tomorrow. Okay. I already know what that is. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's about. I've been there, done that, wrote the book. I didn't smoke it, sniffed it, puffed it, sold it. I didn't gave it away. I didn't sold some of it too. I know. Been there, done that. To God be the glory, I made it out with all my faculties. I ain't crazy. I ain't, at least they won't certify me anyway. But anyway, but I ain't crazy. I still got my mind right. We, we got it. We got, listen, get your life in order. Get your life in order. Get your house right. Don't you, don't you go through hell all this life. Don't you go through hell all your life and then turn around and bust hell open and die and burn in hell forever because you refuse to let your flush go. Your flush is burning with lust and nasty and perverted and alcoholic and all kind of cravings and you won't get it tamed and under control and tell it we ain't smoking today. We ain't drinking today. We ain't sucking coochie today. We ain't licking Peter Piper today. We ain't doing that. We ain't sliding down poles today. Get some control. Get your mouth. We ain't cussing today. Come on. Come on, y'all. We all adults here. Let's talk about it. See? Let's just talk about it. There you go. So Miss Kim said, Miss Kim said, talk about it. Come on, girl. You know I will. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you know I have not a problem with it. You know, and we'll put it in a capture PG. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. For grown ears only. We got to be careful because Jesus is coming back. Do you see all the stuff that's going on around us? You see our sons and daughters is dying and going to hell. You see our sons and daughters is out here caught up in these lifestyle that we've introduced them to. Do you see what's going on? You go wake up, you're waking up. People dead, people shot, people this. You got hell in your house, hell on your phone. Hell, just keep up hell. Ain't you tired? Ain't you tired? She said, I'm thankful. Listen. Sister Johnson said, I'm thankful to I'm thankful for God delivering me. Girl, I'm telling you the truth. I thank God I, I raised hell in the streets, but I didn't have hell in my house. Well, this like wait a minute now, wait a minute now. Let me let me recant that. I had some hell in my house. I had hell in my house because I ain't going to that. A problem. A, 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 um, we'll talk, listen to this right here. And um, as Leviticus 26 and 22, it says, I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children and destroy your cattle and make you few in number, and your highway highway shall be desolate. See, desolate, empty. We got to understand. Listen, when we refuse to do what God said, do when we refuse to, when you refuse to live by the good book. When you refuse to live by this and you got your own way of doing it, you got your own roadmap. You following, baby, it's a highway highway ticket to hell. Mm-hmm. But if you following the good book right here, doing this mm-hmm. thing line upon line, precept upon precept, baby, we may be going somewhere. Your life going to shift. Ch- change going to come. And change has a look. Everything has a look. Come on, put your prayer. Come on, Miss Morrison, I'm putting you on my prayer list. You and all the family. The whole family. Kim, I'm putting you down. I'm praying for y'all. <laughs> Carmen, Comfort, you name it. Your girls, mob girls, the, the, your sister girls, Diane girls, everybody in the, whoever else I could think of. Your brothers, your, your, how your mom doing? I loved your mama. She was so sweet. She'd be over at ECMC, worked at the hospital. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Amen. We thank God for righteousness. Amen. Thank Um, God for change. Don't you? Ain't we tired? You know, we got we got to get it together. Thank God for righteousness. I'm grateful. She's doing okay, and yours, baby. I I reckon she's doing okay. I'm glad to hear your mama doing. I reckon mine's doing okay. I think she's doing well. Last I heard. To God be the glory. Amen. I talked to her, I think, on her birthday, on the first. Mm-hmm. No, her birthday, the second. Talked to her on the second. Talked to her for her birthday. She was doing good. She was at the polls, you know, my mom. Working the polls. Got off the one job, went on over to the next job. Working the polls. Well, you know where I'm at for my birthday. I'm on the polls. I said, yes, ma'am. Be careful up there at the polls. My son, China man, Raymond, Raymond went up there and, and hung out with her for a while. She was doing, she was doing well. You know, Auntie Rhoda, her twins, you know, she got cancer. She's recovering and, and fighting cancer. She said, that's good. I just found my mother's, I just find my mother. I just found my mother's Friday. What? What do you mean you just found her? I tell y'all what, put y'all prayer requests in. Kim, you have any? She's doing okay. If you have, okay, she took it down. She must have said that wrong. If y'all have anybody that you want us praying for, if you have anybody specifically that you want us praying for, anything in your life that you want to be praying for, if you just want some change, if you want to see God, if you want to do it different, if you want to shift your life, you just need you just need to come from out of what you're involved in, entangled in. You just need change in your life. You just want to do it the right way. You're just tired of living the way you're living. She said, "Yes, that's why I laid my that's why I laid my burdens down. I was tired." She said, I was tired of that lifestyle. Amen. So I just seen my mother Friday. Okay, you just seen your mother Friday. Amen. Amen. Um, Sister Johnson, exactly. Sister Johnson, I, you know who this is. You know who Kim is. You know you know who that is. You know that family. It was right behind you. We were, it was on Mortimer too, right through the cut. You know who that is. Um, in the house that Brenda and them used to live in back in the day. Brenda and, and, and all the girls. They moved out and, and the Morrison family moved in. But I thank God. Um, I just thank God that God brought me out of that lifestyle too, Sister Johnson. I'm grateful for that. 
uh, uh, Kim, you know who uh, Sister, Johns, uh, Sister Johnson is. That's Yusuf, Yusuf Big Sister. That's Tracy's sister. And Tracy done got me. Girl, I seen wedding pictures. Tracy, Miss Tracy got married. Miss Johnson done got married. She ain't Miss Johnson no more. Miss Tracy done got married. We praying for everybody. We just going to keep everybody covered in prayer. All of y'all sisters, all of y'all brothers, all of y'all neighbors, all of y'all loved ones, the children, the grandchildren, the families, y'all souls, we, we, we need change. The, the Francis family, the um, um, uh, Ju Julius Caesar, Miss Lafayette, Miss Lyons, Miss Lyons, uh, Car uh, Carol Harris, Lafayette, Evangelist Barry, we have Michael Taylor, we have Mr. R.J. Davis, we, uh, Miss McGee and Ryan. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what I was looking for. I wanted to make sure I called out the McGee family and, and, and Mr. Ryan. Yeah, Mr. Ryan. And the rest of his siblings in the name of Jesus. He said, I need all the prayers. Baby, yes, she said, I need all the prayers. Baby, you know what? And, and that's that's huge to be able to say, I need all the prayers, you know? That's big. That's a big acknowledgement because when you, because knowing is half the battle. Once you know what you need, you know what's going on and you know that you in the pickle jar, knowing is, baby, listen, now we can get some help now. Now we can move, on, right? And we're just going to ask God to transform you by the renewing of your mind. Kim, I've been knowing you a long time. Your family has been knowing my family a long time, right? Just like Sister Johnson, her family has been knowing my family. She's been knowing my mother, my family, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, my sisters. She's been knowing my family a long time. Y'all been knowing, y'all both. Y'all been knowing my family a long time in that city that we come from. And that's a big acknowledgement to just be able to say, you know what, I'm just tired. I, 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 I'm done. I can't even do it. I, I'm got, I've gotten so overwhelmed and so consumed in my life of the things that are involved in my life. I don't even know where to begin, you know? You know, and, and, and that's where I was at. I was just like, this is not me. And if it was me, it wasn't me for a lifetime. It was me for a season. I'm done with this. I'm so over it. I mean, now, how do I get out of this mess I got in? Now, how do I, where is the exit? Somebody show me the door. And it was me calling on God, falling on my knees, no matter what you involved in, Kim, no matter what your lifestyle is, no matter what your life consists of, no matter how many people, you, you know, whatever you got, uh, job related, family related, no matter what, financially related, no matter what the situation is, no matter mentally related, whatever the circumstances is, the God I serve, my father, which art in heaven, he is so much bigger than the issues that we face today. And whatever your situation is no matter how big or minute that thing is he is able all he's waiting for is us to just throw our hands up get on our knees and say i want out of my life i want out of this not that he want to die but i want to be changed change me sanctify me heal me deliver me show me teach me your way better yet just take me up out of this and just give me a fresh start Help me shake off everything that keeps me separated from you. Everything in my lifestyle that you don't like, I ask that you show me so I can stay away from it. Deliver me from it. Take me out of it. This is the things that we need. These are the way that this is the same. This is the way we need to come to God. Father God, we come before you today as humble as we know how, seeking your face, seeking repentance as we repent. Lord, forgive me. Father God, you say, Lord, forgive me for everything that I've done, every sin I've committed that I know of, every sin I've committed I know not of. Help me, keep me, lead me, guide me, direct me, help me transform my mind, transform, keep a Holy Ghost watch over my tongue. Help me watch my mouth. Help me watch what I listen to, what I hear, what I want. I rebuke the spirit of gossip. I rebuke the spirit of backbiting. I rebuke the spirit of blasphemy. I I rebuke the spirit of incest. I rebuke the spirit of uh, 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 fornication and, and, and whatever the situation, gambling and smoking and drinking, whatever it may be. Just go down the list, the stuff that you know of, that you know. Because we know when we're right, we know when we're wrong. We know when we're pleasing God. We don't, some of us ain't was raised in church, but it's just some basics that you do know. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a lot of us wasn't trained to be mannerable. But 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 you know that you're supposed to say thank you when somebody's been gracious and generous to you. You know how to say thank you, please, and excuse me. It's just basic stuff. 
We know when we wrong. We know when we're doing something that God is not. We know the basics. And it's not because we was taught, but it's because he gave all of us a measure of faith. And there's just something on the inside that lets you know what you're doing ain't right. You don't even like it. You just begin to bury yourself and do it anyway. But you know it ain't right. So, and listen to that. Listen to that gut, Lord, and start talking and praying down about it. Lord, 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 I'm not in a position to pray to you because I'm in my sin. I'm in my mess. But you led me to some people that is saved and they're going to cover me in prayer and keep me covered. And you, I'm depending on you to just wipe me, wipe the taste of it out of my mouth. Wipe the taste of this lifestyle out of my mouth. Wipe the taste of this stuff out of my mouth, whatever it may be. Wipe the worldliness out of my mouth. Get my flesh under control. Help me. Not just Miss, Bo Miss Kim, but, but all of us. This is for me. I got some things I got to come to God for, right? I got some behavior. I got some conducts. I got some habits. I got some things that I got to shake for me. I got to get my house in order. I can't, Bible says, sweet pea, listen, you said before you can get the beam out your brother eye, you must first get the ball out thy own eye. See, I got to sweep around my own front door before I go be, be, try to help her sweep around hers. I got to make sure my house is clean. Make sure my front door clean. Make sure you can get through my door. I can't be a hoarder trying to tell her about how nasty and cluttered her darn house is. My house can't be all dark and I'm trying to tell her how dark her house is. I might have had some light around here. I better be able to see something. And that's what we got to do. Make sure you live in this thing before you try to tell somebody something. Make sure you done been through it first. Make sure you didn't overcame your hurdles. Make sure you done been taught. Make sure stop being stop trying to teach and training. Get trained. Sometimes you just got to sit down. Sometimes you just got to say, you know what, Lord, I think I'm going to sit this out. I think I'm just going to sit down and just delight myself in you a lot more. I'm going to be anxious for nothing. Because the on again, off again, the hit and miss ain't God. That's flesh. That's self. I thank God for y'all. I thank God for y'all praying for us. Keep everybody covered. Continue to keep us praying. Keep us prayed up. All of the I, I got, I got, I got a couple names you probably don't want to read out as well. Um, okay, green. come on, prophet. Um, again, I want to want to say uh the the Humphrey family. My my brother yes. Samuel Samuel Humphrey. He, he's about to go overseas. Um, I was, I was afraid of safety over my bro, over my baby brother. Um, yes. keep brother Christopher Smith in prayer. Keep Paulette and Sharice Smith in prayer. Um, keep a Quigley Heath in prayer. Uh, she lost her mother about two and a half months ago. Uh, keep uh, the Whiteley family in prayer. Uh, the Whiteley family is the family of Rashawn Jenkins. Uh, that's her grandfather. He, he died uh, two weeks ago. Uh, keep the Archie family in prayer. Um, also keep uh, Emmanuel Brockwell um, and his family in prayer. Uh, keep the uh, uh, disciples and, and Pastor Wachelf in prayer. Um, a proper Wednesday. and uh, keep Brittany, uh, Malcolm and Brittany Robinson there, expecting that second um, child. Uh, but those are my cousins, uh, so I, I'm uh, praying for her. Um, keep Jimmy and Regina Williams in prayer. The, uh, at the top of the year, they they they, they got their oldest son due to a suicide. So so um, we want to keep them in prayer. Um, keep Melba and Brittany Morrissey in prayer. Um, the Fane family and also the uh, the the, uh, the Ivory family as well. Bishop Copeland and um, and the Lady Copeland in uh, Buffalo, New York. Amen. Amen. The, uh, those are the names that we want to add on, add on this morning. Um, uh, before probably said, um, uh, if I thought it went to another direction, you see, you see that problem? Uh, I'll just have to wait one second. Okay, um, well, before we get ready, to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pray, pray, pray over uh, if, uh, if what was it? <clears throat> what was it, sir? How does how no, I'm saying that if, uh, oh, no. did you have anything else before I pray? Oh no 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 that was on the list that was all the people on my list today. Okay. All right. Well I'm gonna go ahead and pray and then um and and and, and, and pray that we have a good day. I know that we're gonna have a good day because of the God we serve. 
And we'll go ahead and pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord Father, for your grace and for your mercy, Lord Father. We thank you for the anointing that will go through this call today, Lord Father. We thank you for all that you've done for us and what you're going to do, Lord Father. Lord, Lord we thank you for the life and, and, and Lord God, right now, wherever we go, Lord Father, we, we pray that you will just guide us and lead us, Lord Father. Protect us from the seen and unseen dangers of the enemy, Lord Father. Lord, and Lord, right now, protect our children, our husbands, our, our daughters, our, our mothers, our uh, fathers, or aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, Lord Father, all loved ones, all friends and family, Lord Father, extended family, Lord Father. We will pray for our enemies, Lord Father. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Lord, 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 we were announced and denounced anything that, that was spoken over our lives, Lord Father, that, 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 that that was from previous generations, Lord Father, and then tried to sink into our generation, Lord Father. All word curses, all witchcraft, Lord Father, all, all unseen and unseen things, Lord Father. We rebuke it and we send it back to the, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord Father. Oh, Lord Father, because you counsel out all ungodly things. You counsel out all unclean things, Lord Father. We just say thank you, Lord Father. We thank you for the uh, congregation, Lord Father, the, 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 the assembly of the brethren and sistering, Lord Father. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord Father. As we go out today, we review the spirit of accidents, Lord Father. Any blowout tires, Lord Father. Any hit, uh, accident, any form of accidents, Lord Father, and go, God, that we return tomorrow, um, uh, around this time tomorrow, Lord Father, um, at 5 a.m. for go and for prayer, Lord Father. We just thank you and we love you, Lord Father, for who you are, because you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lord Father. And go, God, you can make all things happen, Lord, and, and all things are possible with you, uh, Christ Jesus. And we love you in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for y'all joining in this morning. We thank God for y'all being a part of the, the God's family. Amen. And because we all are family on this broadcast. But once you come on, you automatically family. Amen. And I just want to read, read this over you. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceedingly joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power for now and ever. Amen. 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 We thank God for y'all joining in this morning. We hope that y'all had a blessed time this morning in, in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and you know, just remember this. Don't forget about God because God has not forgotten about you. Remember and this as well. We're living in a time of signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen. Amen. So, you know, y'all go about this day and, you know, let the Lord continue to shine in your life. And we'll see y'all back here tomorrow at 5 a.m. for Global Intercessory Prayer. I'm Prophet Smith along with Prophetess Adams. And we just want to tell y'all, y'all have a good day. And we love y'all with the love of the Lord. Be blessed. Amen. He's resurrected something in me. Look at somebody beside you and say, don't mind me. Sounds wonders and miracles. It's just resurrection power. Sounds wonders and miracles. Miracle signs and wonders. We love you guys. Happy. We love you guys. Have a great rest of y'all's day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Have a great day. Know that we love y'all. Have a good day. God bless. Okay, here we go. Great day. God bless, guys.